Hey guys, it's Jana and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we are going to make Princess Aurora cupcakes. So beautiful. These cupcakes are so easy to make, you could probably do it in your sleep. All of the ingredients and tools we will be using will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky. I've already made my cupcakes. I used a white cake today, so just follow directions on the box or make your own recipe. I also found these adorable cupcake liners. It looks like Aurora's ruffles on her dress. I just love it. I had to buy them. I'll put a link down below where you can get them. First off, we have to make her crowns. I am using gum paste. I've never used gum paste before, but I chose gum paste because it dries faster than fondant. You can also use fondant, but you just have to give it some more time to dry. So I just took an empty paper towel roll and I folded it just to make a little point at the end. So just squish it down really good and it makes a little teardrop shape. And then I covered it in wax paper and taped it off. Just take out some gum paste and roll it out. Use your X-Acto knife to cut triangles for the crown. And then I use the shell of the pen to make the little semicircles on top of her crown. Now just put your crown right on top of the paper towel roll. Don't forget to press the edge in right in the middle, right up front. So here I have my crowns. They're still drying just a little bit, so while we decorate, we're going to just let these sit and relax and get all dried out. And then we'll paint them. Since Aurora's fairy godmothers kept fighting about whether her dress should be blue or pink, hey, who am I to judge? Let's do both. So I made up about two cups of each color and we are going to start putting it on our cupcakes. I just use rose coloring and blue coloring. Just to make life easier, I am just going to transfer these over to a cookie sheet. Let's just snip off the ends, make sure they're snipped pretty much at the same spot. And here we go, let's make our pretty dresses. You're just gonna start from the outside and go all the way inside. Now I know what you're saying, what about the other ones? Come on, Jana. what's wrong with you? Well, I'm gonna try a new technique. I'm so excited. So I have the huge decorators bag. This is the 16 inch. The ones that we were using were the 12 inch. So we're gonna put these ones inside this one and we're gonna make two colors come out on the cupcake. I'm really excited to try it. I'm cut an end off and just place your bag inside of the bag. Just lay out some wax paper and practice until you get both colors out of there. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. So let's just set these aside and work on our crowns. I have my golden color mist here. I am just going to spray down my crowns and make them golden. That looks like it's gonna be awesome. So now we just gotta wait for it to dry. That didn't take very long. So now we're just going to very carefully take our crown off. Now you can leave the back side if you want, but I'm gonna paint it. Just gonna place it on a cookie sheet and just spray it real quick. I heard a green thumb, but what does gold thumb mean? It means you gotta go wash your hands. Now that our crowns are all dry, let's just place them on our cupcakes. Just to top it off, I have some shimmer here because every time the fairy godmothers changed the color of her dress, what did it do? It sparkled! So we need some sparkles. So I just put a little bit of shimmer in a little cup here. I have a little paintbrush that I always use with it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush and I'm just going to tap it onto the cupcake. <laughs> Wow, guys, these came out so awesome. Oh, wow. They were so easy. I think we got lucky. If you guys make this, send me a picture on Twitter. And if there's anything you want to see, just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Mwah.